Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to take a look at another ASP custom ROM based on Android 15 for a Redmi Note 4 which comes with all the latest stuff I mean the Android version and obviously the security patch so without wasting any more time let's take a look at it so guys this is Komodo S15 which is based on Android 15 obviously then you can see Android version and if you double click, triple click, you get the easter egg, Android 15 easter egg. Heading down here, you can see security patch is April 1, 2025, which is the latest available security patch. And you have a uh, SC Linux status enforcing. Here are some details uh, which have been mentioned uh, of your device uh, briefly. And you can see the Komodo OS 15 banner and the maintainer name too. So guys, starting with the launcher, you get this stock OSP modified launcher. So let's move into the home settings and you can see you get these settings. Circle to search is also present. We have add apps to screen, double tap to sleep. You can also force theme icons uh, and you can see app draw. You have themed icons. You can also apply that and suggestions you can enable. Also, we have background uh, blur depth so you can configure that. Also double tap to sleep and double tap to wake is also present. Now let's move into the app drawer. So this is the app drawer. I have flashed the Omni G apps to replace all the basic apps to the Google apps. So yeah, if you want, uh, I like this is the vanilla variant. So you can install any G apps or you can also use it without G apps with micro G. Uh, it's upon your preference and moving into settings. So this is the settings UI and you can see uh, basic Android 15 settings UI, some UI mismatch is here. You can see digital well-being has no icon and you have this profile uh, icon there. And yeah, we have the rep tools here, the Komodo OS customization tab. So guys, the Komodo OS 15 is in early stages of development. So you don't get a lot of options to play with. But anyways, let's take a look at all that stuff and you can see uh, the Komodo OS uh, background, uh, the banner, you can say the Komodo dragon, then it is named as rep tools. So yeah, a lot of uh, theming has been done related to the OS name. And then you have status bar, system icons. You have a lot more uh, basic stuff that you can also find in Lineage. So you can see uh, the clock, the battery, the brightness options. Then going into buttons, we have non on screen navbar, but there's a problem. I will. Uh, tell you what so if you enable the on-screen nav bar and you are using the keyboard then you cannot hide the IME space or you know even if you switch to gestures which I will right now so to switch to gestures you have to go inside oh not here getting back into system into gestures uh, into navigation mode gesture navigation Let's move into settings and if you have like you have disabled the navigation hint so no issue let's open the keyboard and you can see you still have this IME space and it's too much so it is better that you uh, disable the keyboard the on-screen navbar sorry not the keyboard so we are going back let's go back again you go into rep tools go into buttons and disable the on-screen navbar. Once you get all the benefit here, you can see the LED backlight is also working for the hardware uh, keys. And you can also use the keyboard full screen. So this is a better option to use the hardware keys always if your device has hardware keys. Now you can also customize all the other buttons like the power button and the home key, the back key and the recent app key. You can see you have uh, volume keys uh, options too and you have some extras to click to partial screenshot. Now moving into gestures, we have swipe to screenshot and you can see you can use your three fingers. Just roll it down and we'll create a screenshot. So this is a very op easy option to get a screenshot. And the last option is miscellaneous and here we get a game space. So this is related to you know the gaming stuff so if you are playing games you will get this game space and it will uh, have a lot of actions have a lot of buttons which you can configure here as you can see overlay menu opacity it will give you an overlay menu you can click that game space button or the icon and it will give you options uh, which is going to help you play your games better and block calls or put your device in silent 
total silent no calls nothing and yeah you are also the fps and all the stuff in game linger mode you can see total silent vibrate normal so you can set us accordingly or the game you are playing it all depends but yeah you can try the game space if you are playing games on your redmi note 4 now let's explore some more options which are merged into our basic settings so first we are going to battery and we have charging control and in charging control you can set charging mode to automatic and in automatic it will decide upon your alarms to when the phone will charge fully or not then custom schedule you can set a timing start timing end timing and then when the your device will full charge at that and then limit charging you can limit it to a certain percentage like 90 and the minimum is 72 you can set to 70 80 90 anywhere in between you can also set any amount which is 82 83 like that so yeah this is a very good feature if you want to limit charging to a specific percentage moving below in system we have gestures tab and here we have quickly open camera and one handed mode gestures which is hidden and you can uh, you know use one handed mode if you have enabled the uh, navigation gesture so yeah you have to enable the on screen nav bar and enable the navigation three finger gesture so in order to use the one handed mode like that then going back you can see we have system updates uh, which is an updater and it supports update so yeah if any new update is available you can just update it through the updater which is a really great thing now guys to conclude this rom is good this rom is still in early stages so if you are using lineage os i will suggest you not to try this one right now like let it just cook something more uh, you know add up more options then you will feel something uh, that it is better than lineage os or like offering more customizations or giving some ui tweaks more than lineage os but if you are on miui or any other rom and if you want to try something aosp then you can surely try this it comes with the latest security patch so it's a like a benefit over lineage os and yes i think this is basically based on lineage os as you can see in wallpapers it has all the lineage os wallpapers are present too so basically this is a lineage os based rom and it has a lot of additions in here and those additions are still work in progress so better wait and uh, you know see how the progress goes how the rom is been updated and then you can install it on your redmi note 4 you are getting official support i guess but yeah you are anyways getting ot updates through the updater so that's a very good option uh, if you want regular updates and guys one more issue i have found is it does not uh, like the volte does not work so if you are a user indian user if you use geo sim card then it is difficult for you to make calls other than that the mobile data and everything works fine so there is no issue regarding that and also the camera is also working fine so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff but just the vlt is not working so it is a like must have a, a feature for indian users and otherwise it's a very good rom it's still in like work in progress status so better be aware that it does not have a full customization functionality but you can still try if you want to you know use aosp for the first time from miui and it's well updated so it's a i mean okay or not okay it's in between like it depends on your scenario so that was it and i hope you guys have liked the video and if you want to install this rom it's easy you can install it like lineage os through tdrp or orange fox just flash the uh, just flash the recovery then uh, format data in uh, wipe the partitions and install the rom ng apps if you want hg apps you can install and also if you want root access you can install magisk so that is also an, like an addition so that's it if you guys like the video press the like button if not press the dislike button also subscribe for more videos on the redmi note 4 and other devices on the channel and bye bye see you guys take care